It certainly was a nice day for presidential candidate Joe Biden to make a stop in northeastern Pennsylvania. The former VP spoke to a small group of people at Scranton's Cultural Center, touching on several issues, including the middle class. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live outside the Scranton Cultural Center tonight with a stop to the Electric City. Cody. Nick, good evening. People line North Washington Avenue to get a glance at the presidential candidate Joe Biden. His stop in the Electric City comes as part of a three state tour in his campaign. It's my great pleasure to introduce to you the next president of these United States of America, Joe Biden. Presidential hopeful Joe Biden made a campaign stop in Scranton Wednesday. The former vice president spoke to a crowd of about 100 inside the Scranton Cultural Center. Biden's stop in Scranton focused on economic policy, highlighting the need to rebuild the middle class. We all want the same thing. A fair shot, a life of dignity, and the peace of mind. When someone gets sick, you have a little breathing room when the bill comes through. Biden targeting corporations, saying they're not paying its workers when productivity is high like they did in the 70s. Since then, productivity has gone up 68 or 69 percent, wages 8 percent. What happened? The presidential candidate also touched on higher pay for teachers, gun reform, free college tuition, and the most talked about, public health care. My plan reduces premiums, deductibles, out-of-pocket costs, increasing subsidies for middle-class families to buy in. And for the first time, It'll force private insurance to compete with your business. Biden ended his hour-long speech with a message for voters. Stand up. Take it back. We can, in fact, do anything we set our mind to. Before heading to his next stop, Joe Biden greeted voters after his speech. I've definitely been between him and Sanders, but both of them are very much fighting for the group that I am in, the middle class, and they all have their charms. I had to come and see had to say, especially about the economy today. Joe Biden's next stop is in Iowa tomorrow. His campaign people tell me that it is likely that he will make another stop here in Scranton between now and the primaries in Scranton. Cody Butler, I'm News. Nick. All right. Cody, thank you.